What is going on guys? Gray for today. I want to do an updated settings guide for console. I made one of these last week. Of course, I've been playing with it in the early access. And today I want to do an updated settings guide, mainly for you know, like the own foot buttons, that kind of thing. I'm not going to go into great detail about all the other settings in game. Uh, if you want to check that out, of course, that was in the video I did last week. I went over all the settings in game. I will pop that up in the top corner right now. If you're still struggling with settings, I would recommend watching that video first. Those settings, uh, when it comes to movement, are a bit slower than they're going to be in this video. Uh, after I started playing the game for the last week, I felt like I needed to bump my settings up just a bit based on what I used in that other video. So if you're starting to feel like some of these settings are feeling a bit slow to you, these may work a little bit better. Like I said, if you're still trying to get used to the settings in game, I would highly recommend using the ones from that other video uh, because they will work best to kind of start off and then you can kind of bump these up as you go along. So what I did is I went back in the game, set these back to default, and kind of started over from where, you know, I was with the other video, where the settings were kind of set, and I kind of based it off that. So first of all, we got soldier aim sensitivity is going to be set at 30. My inverted look, of course, is off. That's for all personal preference. Field of view made a video about this, talking about how this game uses vertical instead of horizontal field of view, so this needs to be set lower. Mine is at 64, which is equivalent to about 94 to 97 uh, horizontal field of view. My ADS field of view, personal preference, but I have mine set to own. Soldier aim assist is 95, and soldier aim assist zoom snap is 80. These two settings right here feel like they help the game out a lot, in my opinion, because the aim assist in Battlefield 2042 on console is almost non-existent at times. So just be aware of that. The aim assist never feels like it does in other games, things like Call of Duty or you know maybe Apex or whatever the case may be. The aim assist in this game is not that great. But having these both set on 100, it felt really off. Having them set to 95 to 80 feels a little bit more of a kind of a traditional aim assist setting. But it is not as strong, so just be aware of that. Uh, my soldier sprint is set to toggle. This is auto sprint. I changed my sprint button instead of having the uh, button to be, you know, pressing L3 in. So you have to double tap that to sprint. I just have it press, uh, just kind of press up on L, so if that makes sense. You're just going to push up on the L stick. Uh, sprint default over is off and always use traversal sprint is on. Now I made a video about auto sprint a few days ago and I forgot to mention one thing. If you're going to use these settings, if you're actually going to change this sprint button, make sure you go into your controller scheme and change your soldier controls and buttons to custom in order for this to work correctly. And that was my fault. I did not mention that in the video, but that is a way to make this work right. Uh, when it comes down to soldier zoom aim sensitivity i have this set to 100 of course the video i had a few days ago this is a bit different now this is like i said is a little bit more of a sped up version of uh, the past videos controller settings so i bumped this up to 100 you may need to adjust this i would say anywhere between 97 to 102 if you're going to try these settings out but 100 is still pretty much the sweet spot for me uh, all this other stuff right here of course is going to be all personal preference um, of course, when we get down to the advanced settings, my aiming left right acceleration is 8, vertical aim ratio is 70, and vertical zoom ratio is 100. I have my uniform soldier aiming off. When I have this turned on, these controls feel completely different, so make sure you turn this off if you're going to use this type of setup uh, with your settings. When it comes to zoom, transition, setting, uh, sensitivity, smoothing, yeah, I'm going to get it out here in a minute, excuse me. I have everything from one up to a four time zoom set to 75 and everything from five to a 10 zoom set to 85. You may need to tweak these a little bit more to your liking, but this is just to fine tune the aiming sensitivity of the soldier weapon when in a zoom of a certain type it is applied and multiplied by the base soldier zoom sensitivity option. So when I went in and redid these settings, uh, when I got this, of course, we know when we bumped up the soldier zoom aim sensitivity and left it at 100 uh, compared to what it was in the past video, I felt when I changed these, uh, you know, kind of knocked them down a little bit, the aiming felt a lot smoother. So you definitely want to try this out. Like I said, if that past video I did, you're, you're, trying to, you're finally kind of learning the game, catching up with the controls, and you're starting to feel like those are a little bit slow for you, try this out and it definitely works. When it comes to controller tuning itself, I always leave vibration off, personal preference there. Uh, center dead zone and axle dead zone are both at 5, max input threshold are at 100. For the right stick, 5, 5, and 100, so you want the right and the left stick to be the same. Now, if you have a lot of controller drift, you may have to bump these up. 
everyone's controller is different. I have a newer PS5 controller, so I don't have a lot of drift yet, but five is where mine uh, kind of works the best. Now, the easiest way to figure this out is if you're in a game and you're not touching the sticks and you see your character moving, you may have to bump these dead zones up some. When it comes to the L2 and R2 buttons, now if you shoot with L2 and R2, I would recommend putting L2 and R2 dead zone to zero. If you're like myself, you shoot with R1, L1, that's not going to matter. But just keep in mind, if you use the back triggers to shoot, you want those dead zones to zero. And you want to leave the max input threshold on L2, R2 to 100. Like I said, these are just some kind of uh, improved settings compared to the last video I had. The last video I had, like I said, still works very well. But as I played the game more, I felt like those were just a bit slow for me personally. So either one of these settings that I've talked about in both these videos will work for you. Try them both out and see what works the best. Hopefully this will help you out. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store, which is linked down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.